what's up butterfly gang welcome to another butterfly message if you are new here i'm aji and this is sacred libra where we talk all things libra make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if this reading resonates with you all right let's get right into this reading let's see where your current energy is libra where's libra's current energy thank you thank you thank you Someone's very, very wise. Someone is very wise. Very smart. All right, so you're at home. You're centered. Okay, you are centered. You have water sign. There's a water sign that's very, very significant, but you are at home and you are centered. You could be emo. You could be like in tuning, tuning or becoming in tune with your emotions. Um, some of you guys could be missing the sign. You got married woman. You're missing some type of sign about some type of married woman or committed woman. Or this could be the woman that's about to um, fulfill her highest hopes. Um, somebody could be missing the sign on that. All right. Um, let's see what is surrounding you. Got this water sign. Check on where you have water in your chart. That could be the sign. All right, someone spiritual at heart that's surrounding you. All right, watch your tone. Watch your tone on how you speak to a person. Watch how you speak. All right, you do have cry. And you have run for the hills. This is not for you. All right, I see protection here. Protection, whether that's man's rejection it's protection. You have to speak up in this situation this week. There's something that you're going to need to speak up about. And this is like, this could be some, this don't even have to deal with you. Like personally, like something could be surrounding you. Your name could be in it. You could be in it off association or something like that. Um, definitely speak up for something. Um, definitely watch your tone though. Don't let anybody pull you out of your character. But there's a need for you to speak up. All right. Okay, what's coming to you is a good laugh. A good laugh. A good laugh is coming to you. Determination meets success and alignment. All right, so determination. This is exactly what I wanted and you get exactly what you want, you get a good conversation, all right? A hard head makes a soft you-know-what, okay? You could be missing a lover from your past. There's some need to, to, to do, something could be coming to you, um, but there's a need for you to do something different, right? Something is causing for some type of different energy. Something is calling you to do something different. Right. Let's see what significant energies are coming towards Libra within the next 48 hours. All right, you do have the book. What significant energies are coming towards Libra within the next 48 hours? All right, you do have some type of disappointment. And you do have some type of good health, highest fulfillment, highest hopes. I did see somebody is about to reach their highest hopes. You have, oh, someone is missing the signs that they are about to reach their highest hopes. Don't give up now. Um, Yeah. Don't give up now, hard head. You know what happened last time you gave up. Someone is also getting the key to the house and the key to the safe. Okay. <laughs> key to the house, key to the safe. Someone could be going to a, a hotel or something like that. Key to the house, key to the safe. Um... Someone is getting a key to someone's heart. 
tell me more about at home at home all right at home someone's manifesting like your word words your words your words are manifesting your life these silent words are your thoughts okay so how you feel um i manifest and follow your intuition wisdom is wisdom is telling you to do this you do have the knight of cups here um love could be motivated here you do have the seven of wands protecting your energy somebody is just speaking like in like speaking affirmations and constant states of gratitude like your word you're changing your life with your word and your wisdom Wisdom is also telling you to protect your energy too, because center, you're trying to stay centered. You do have, yeah, definitely centered for this. You're working really, really hard. There's a victory coming. Some of you guys can see it. You can taste it. You can smell it. Like it's right there. Tell me more about centered. It is right there. Centered. All right. Somebody has a lot of supporters, but they don't let their supporters or they have a lot of um fans or they're very very popular they don't let something get to them they're still a very very humble um sweet down to earth type of person very very grounded all right somebody got here because of some type of heartbreak or sorrow or how long something took um and it changed them i feel like if the journey wasn't so hard or something like that um it changed a person and made a person um, more humble or it made a person treat people with grace because they remember how they were treated because they wish that they were treated with grace on their journey. So instead of going out and giving the same thing, they actually do the opposite. Yeah, you have this six of six of wands. I mean, not the six of wands, six of swords. You're on calmer waters. You're more centered. For someone, someone could handle power now. There was a person who couldn't handle power or they let their insecurities get the best of them at the sight of ha handling power or support. You couldn't let support in or something like that. You transform, you transform your mind. You don't think the same. Tell me more about water sign. All right, you do have this victory here. So for some of you guys, you're feeling this victory. All right. There is something that you're supposed to do. Or there's something that you're supposed to say. There's something that you're doing that you're keeping hidden. And this is giving like some type of manifestation, intuition, something like that. You're keeping something hidden. Yeah, you have the Queen of Wands. You're, you're, you're unapologetic about it. Um, you could be doing some type of uh, spiritual work, something that you're keeping hidden. You're not telling anyone about this. There's no need to talk about something. You're like, there's no need to talk. Tell me more about spiritual at heart. Who's spiritual at heart surrounding Libra? All right, you do have somebody here who is a little bit secluded. Self-sabotages themselves a lot. Somebody also go back, back and forth, back and forth. Um, somebody is just on a journey. And they could be going through a lot and they act out of their fear. Their motivations is to kind of move along and get ahead and learn and be better, even speak better. But their actions are coming out of their fear. Their actions are self-sabotaging them. Someone is having a rough start. They're very spiritual though. Someone also may be a little bit younger, a little bit naive. Um, you do have the eight, I mean, the ten of cups. This person does love you. Yeah, somebody loves you. Somebody is fair. Somebody is loyal to you. Tell me more about watch your tone. All right. There's going to be a conversation. 
yeah there's going to be a conversation you could be so some of you guys could be predicting a conversation is not going to go so well or something like that um keep your cool watch your tone um you got this you can control anything if you can control yourself okay um you definitely have this all right, what's crossing this is the king of swords. Yeah, be smart about how you speak. Be smart about the words that you say, okay? Tell me more about cry. Ooh. There's a soul cleanse, all right? There's a soul cleanse happening here. Happened with the tower, but it brought about a lot of change. Um, For some of you guys, there was something that surrounding there's something false an agent of chaos that is getting broken down this is a false belief system and you're slowly moving away from this false belief system and this false moving away from this false belief system puts you in this rebirth this change also it almost goes like a spiritual death or something For some of you guys, you're going to be confused as to why you're crying. Confused as to why you're shedding tears. Your soul is going to be cleansing. Tell me more about run for the hills. This is not for you. All right, you do have justice. Oh. Somebody is covered. There's a person who doesn't even have to say anything. This is the energy surrounding you. So somebody's going to move away. Like they're going to realize this is not for them. You are standing on your throne. You are justice. Somebody's going to be like, no, you know what? Libra can have it. I don't want no no smoke with Libra. This is This is not for them. Somebody realizes that what they do to you or anyone, in a sense, is going to come back on them. Yeah. You were put in some type of power. Something you were put in some. This is why someone doesn't want to deal with you. The authority. Someone's afraid of your authority or afraid of your power or they're like, no. If I do something to Libra, something is definitely going to come. There's no way Libra is going to let me get away with it. Or there's no way spirit. Or there's no way something's going to let me get away with this. Like somebody's really thinking about their karma. Yeah. I feel like someone is like... Someone could have said something. Or someone's saying something. Or there's a lot of things happening. Like I said, your name could kind of like pop up just by association. And someone is just... They're going to avoid avoid speaking about you because they don't want any karma they don't want that to come back on them someone knows about spiritual law <laughs> someone's like oh no that ain't gonna do nothing but come right back on me Tell me more about a good laugh. A good laugh. Hmm. There's something that you're going to look back at and laugh. There's something that you're going to look back and laugh at. There's something that you moved away from or you thought wasn't serving you or was not serving you at that time. And you look back and laugh at this situation. I feel like both parties can look back and laugh. I feel like someone could have had like a um, blow up with someone. Yeah, things are back on, things are back on calm waters. There's two people who could have had a falling out or something like that. And then you sit back and you laugh at something or something wasn't working out. And you had to leave or run away or abandon something. And then you realize that it works out. 
So you're sitting back and laughing. Like, I remember when I thought that this wasn't going to work out for me and it actually works out. Uh, tell me more about determination meets success and alignment. Hard work. Hard work pays off. Yes, hard work. Calling your ships in. Some of you guys are going to have to choose between two directions. Calling your ships in. Spirit is calling your ships in. You may hear trumpets. Listen to a lot of music. The angels are talking through the music. The music, the music is playing for you. Yeah, you do have the Knight of Cups. There's an offer. There's some, it's, I just hear the offer that you can't refuse. This is exactly what I wanted. Tell me more about this is exactly what I wanted. It's something that you can't quite confuse. You can't... Yeah, you can't quite confuse it. You know where this is coming from. And you can't refuse it. Wish fulfillment coming right on top of this is exactly what I wanted. You have the star. I feel like that is someone praying. Yes, yes. You have the six of pentacles here. For someone you manifested exactly... Exactly. And you gave something. You gave some type of offering. Something, there's a, there's a quick like leveling up. There's a quick, quick success. Something happens really, really quickly. Tell me more about good conversation that's coming towards you. A reconciliation, all right? Gonna have a good conversation with the person, okay? Um, there could be a little bit of fear. There's a person who didn't want to, but they did. I feel like a person could have tried to move on or something, but they... Someone's not giving up. Somebody's not giving up. You do have this three of cups here. Let's see what's crossing this. Yeah, the knight of swords. Yeah, somebody's definitely not giving up. Not giving up on a union. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Yeah. The Queen of Swords. This could be based off something that you know. You feel or how a person feel. Someone knows that they can't give up on you. They know that they... Someone knows that... You know how like... You may have a bad argument with somebody or something may go, but you know daggone well this is not the end. Like, you know. This isn't this isn't it. Tell me more about the book. The book. Seven of Swords. There is some type of lie. Some type of gossip happening. Significant energies. There is some type of gossip that is happening here. Um, there's a mystery or there could have been something that's figured out that affects you for the better. Um... Someone thought that something could kind of like stop you, but it can't. It's giving somebody, you're not moved by somebody's words or you're not moved by somebody's malicious actions. And somebody could be spreading rumors or spreading lies. Or even this could be some type of truth. This is personal information and you're not moved.
Why you got the hierophant coming here? You're definitely not moved here. All right, you do have the fool. Got the messenger. Pay attention to the details. Are you even going to pay attention to these details? Tell me more about the scythe. All right. So there's a person who's disappointed. Somebody was blindsided. Somebody is disappointed because they were blindsided by a person or a situation. And then when they finally figure out the truth, it gives them some type of wisdom, but they also kind of like, wow, you could have been honest with me. You got justice here. They find something out. They get some type of, you, you can get some type of clarity. Tell me more about the tree. Good health, strong, strong as a tree. Somebody strong as a tree. Somebody strong as a tree. Okay. Yeah, somebody is hiding, praying, saying their affirmations. Like they're doing some spiritual practice. They're hiding though. Not hiding that they're just not showing or not telling anybody what it is that they're doing. They're just doing it. All right, yeah, the Empress. It's making you really, really strong, strengthening your powers, okay? Somebody is using some type of drama or conflicts to go through this rebirth, and it's working. It's really, really working, all right? So I'm gonna leave your reading right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.